Well, feeding them good is always good. That'll help make it last a longer time, maybe. But actually, he, we're the perfect partners. I mean, for, for the people that kind of follow the signs, like Capricorn or the compatible signs, well, I'm a Capricorn and he's Cancer. So those are supposed to be very compatible signs, but eat with or without that sort of thing. We just actually have a, a good time. We both have a great sense of humor. Our, hu our sense of humor is different mm -hmm. from each other, which makes it even more entertaining. But we're able to like solve any problems and any situation, making a joke about it and not mm -hmm. letting it get too heavy. But we, we respect each other and we like each other. And it, we've just had a, we lucked up. Let's put it that way. Dolly Parton and Carl Dean are the couple with the strongest bond they having been together for nearly 60 years. Their relationship is a testament to love, independence, and mutual respect. Despite their differences, Dolly and Carl have kept their relationship strong, inspiring many with their unique love story. Dolly Parton first met Carl Dean on her first day in Nashville. Dolly had just graduated from high school and moved to Nashville from Sevierville, Tennessee, hoping to make it big in the music industry. At 18, Dolly was already a budding singer with her first single, Puppy Love, released by a small record label in Louisiana. While it wasn't a hit, it gave her the push she needed to pursue her dream of becoming a star. As Dolly was doing her laundry at the wishy-washy laundromat, Carl Dean drove by in his white Chevy pickup truck. He stopped to tell her she would get a sunburn in her outfit and then struck up a conversation. Carl later said that when he first saw Dolly, he knew he would marry her. Dolly was equally impressed by Carl, noting that he was genuinely interested in getting to know her, a rare quality she appreciated. Dolly and Carl quickly fell in love and began dating. Despite Dolly's rising fame, Carl remained her biggest supporter. They got engaged, and Carl's mother was excited to plan a big wedding. However, Dolly's record label requested she wait a year to get married to focus on her career, which disappointed Carl's mother. Two years after they met, Dolly and Carl decided to get married secretly. They traveled to Ringgold, Georgia, about 150 miles from Nashville, to avoid media attention. On Memorial Day in 1966, they tied the knot in a small Baptist church with only Dolly's mother, the preacher, and his wife as witnesses. Dolly's mother made her a simple white dress and a bouquet for the occasion. Despite the lack of a big wedding, Dolly and Carl's love for each other was evident. Even before Dolly became a household name, Carl showed no interest in the entertainment industry. After attending one industry event with Dolly in 1966, he told her he was happy about her success but didn't want to attend any more public events. Dolly's career took off shortly after their wedding. Her first full-length album, Hello, I'm Dolly, was released in 1967, and she joined the nationally syndicated Porter Wagoner show the same year. Her talent and unique voice quickly made her a star, with millions tuning in each week to watch her perform. Throughout her career, Dolly has achieved numerous milestones, becoming one of the most iconic figures in country music. She has won countless awards, including Grammy Awards and Country Music Association Awards, and even received the prestigious Kennedy Center Honors. Her songs, such as Jolene and I Will Always Love You, have become timeless classics loved by generations of fans. Despite her fame, Carl has remained a private person, preferring to stay out of the limelight. In their 57 years of marriage, he has only appeared in public with Dolly a handful of times. However, Dolly considers Carl her biggest fan, always supporting her from behind the scenes. She appreciates his independence and that he never gets jealous of her success. Dolly and Carl's marriage is built on mutual respect, love, and independence. Dolly has often said that Carl is a loner, preferring to spend time alone or with her rather than socializing with others. He enjoys living on their farm and taking care of their property while Dolly continues to pursue her career. Their independence is one of the secrets to their enduring union. They have a deep understanding of each other's needs and respect each other's space. Dolly has always been fiercely independent and admits to enjoying being a flirt and a tease. However, she has never met a man who could replace Carl. Their relationship has not been without challenges. Dolly once had an affair of the heart with someone else, which tested their marriage. However, her faith helped her through that difficult time, and Carl remained by her side. 
Their ability to communicate and work through their problems has kept their relationship strong over the years. Dolly and Carl never had children, a decision that Dolly sometimes regretted. However, as they've grown older, they both feel content with their choice. Dolly has a large family and is close to her younger siblings, nieces, and nephews. She and Carl have also been involved in various charitable endeavors, helping many children through their work. Dolly believes that not having children allowed her to focus on her career and maintain a strong relationship with Carl. She often jokes that they don't have to worry about kids now that they're older, which gives them more time to enjoy each other's.